Oh, this is a demonstration of the DigiBrute Droid code. Right here, I have a simple uh, DigiSpark, which is an Ardu Arduino-based device. Um, I'm going to connect this through a USB uh, on-the-go cable, and I'm going to show you uh, as it brute forces uh, a passcode on this Android device. So bear with me as I get this hooked up. So. As soon as it's plugged in, uh, the device recognizes that there's a keyboard plugged in because this is showing itself uh, as a powered device with a keyboard. Uh, and it's going to run through uh, and try to input a pin uh, several times. Now, I also have it where uh, when an Android device fails after five attempts, it waits 30 seconds. Um, so what will happen is on the DigiSpark, uh, this is a Model A board. Um, you can see it right there. There's that left green light. Uh, that's the onboard LED, and it will stay lit until uh, 30 seconds have passed. As you can see, it just passed, and that light's off now. So when it does that, uh, it's a little indicator just to let you know that uh, it recognizes it's failed five times, and it's showing you that it's waited 30 seconds. So we're going to wait another 30 seconds, uh, and then it's going to unlock it because the code that I set was something that uh, after two failed attempts, uh, then it's going to, uh, to get in quite easily. So this is just a demonstration of the USB on-the-go capabilities with a DigiSpark uh, using it for brute force pin entries. So there you go. Anyways, thanks for watching, uh, and I hope you have a good day.